Hey everybody, it's Bob Smith from Smith Taekwondo and Pro Sport Kickboxing, Hawaii's largest center for martial arts. And I want to talk to you today about the shotgun and um, the devastation and damage it can do. Now, even though this is a blue gun, it's actually called a rings blue gun. Um, notice I'm exercising proper safety procedures. Finger never touches the trigger, muzzle is always pointed in a safe direction. And I want you guys to understand um, the devastation of a shotgun. Unlike when you see somebody get shot in the movies by a pistol, like a 9mm, a Jean-Claude Van Damme movie. They get shot by a pistol and all of a sudden the bad guy goes flying back 20 feet. Um, with a shotgun, especially if you're shooting buckshot, you're getting 9 pellets coming at you, 32 caliber ball rounds. And uh, the buckshot is hitting you at an extremely high rate of speed and all nine rounds hitting you at once is going to cause some tremendous damage. Up close, from this close distance, it's probably gonna cut you in half. And pretty much what you see in the movies is what's gonna happen with this gun up close and personal. So it will definitely create devastation and bring extreme devastation. Uh, as far as I'm concerned here in Hawaii, this is a fantastic home defense weapon. You fill it full of birdshot, um, Birdshot is definitely going to ruin their day, but it's not going to be nearly as devastating as buckshot would. So, recently we've had a bunch of home invasions here in Hawaii, and the cowards who have been committing these robberies, the criminals, they have been using uh, shotguns. There have been a few of these home invasions that they've reported that they were held at bay with a shotgun. And I can tell you that if you are in training any martial art, I don't care what martial art you're training in. If you do anything with weapons, weapons disarming or retention, uh, gun takeaways, we do a lot of gun takeaways here at Smith Taekwondo Center. Um, if you're going to take this gun away, you better do it right the first time because this will leave you as an amputee. Um, so the home invasions, uh, these guys, these cowards have been committing in gangs and just walking into people's homes using shotguns and recently it was a uh, Kumahula in Mililani and um, uh, Ivalani Sioux and they stole over a million dollars worth of gold jewelry and money from her. A million dollars of gold jewelry and money. Now here in Hawaii it's I guess I don't know if it's uh, being inbred the stupidity or what but um, you're not going to be able to spend all that. You're definitely not going to be able to get rid of the jewelry because most of it was personalized. It was heirloom jewelry. And um, you're not going to be able to get rid of it and take it down to a local pawn shop and say, hey man, check this out. Because the cops are looking for it and they're going to find it eventually. So you're a bunch of idiots to think that you can pull this off. But um, a shotgun as a home defense weapon is a fantastic weapon. Now, like I said, even with buckshot, Hawaii, the walls and houses are very, very thin. You discharge a firearm with buckshot in Hawaii, it's going to go through a few walls. It's going to overpenetrate. If you have family members or children in those other rooms, they're at risk of residual damage because of that. When you utilize a shotgun with birdshot, now we're talking because it's not going to overpenetrate. And whoever's standing in front of it, they catch 20 or 30 BBs into their torso. And it's going to make them think twice, especially if you've still got the weapon up pointed at them and you're coming at them for a second shot. Um, but it's a fantastic home defense weapon. I, in Hawaii, I would uh, recommend it over any AR or any assault weapon. I know there's a bunch of gun gurus here in Hawaii, and there's a bunch of keyboard warriors and bookstore black belts, and they're all like, well, I got my AK, and I got my AR, and I got this, and my AR-10, and my 308. Don't care. Don't care. If you knew anything about ballistics, you would understand that here in Hawaii also, uh, as crowded as this island is, and the way houses are constructed, that 308 round is going to go through 10 or 15 houses before it finally starts losing inertia and slowing down. And who's it going to hit in the meantime? So shotgun, good home defense weapon. Um, get some training with it. Don't just buy a shotgun and stick it in your closet. Take it to the range. Be consistent. Um, get some training. Take some good classes. And uh, be safe with it. But this is Bob Smith. Blood makes you related and loyalty makes your family.